All right, where I'm going now is, uh, this is an old Winnebago. It's repairable, yes, but it would just create a lot of work, a lot of money. So, uh, we are going to, I guess, what you call repurpose some of the items in here. For my project today is going to be uh, the sink. So I don't have to buy one. You know, it may not be exactly what I was looking for, but I can clean it out. It's got a cutting board, a cover on it. Uh, I'll have to do, I'm not sure how well we'll be able to see underneath. Probably need more lighting, but I have a feeling that I will have to cut one piece of the pipe somewhere. Um, but I might be able to just detach the sink first, then work on the piping after that. This is the sink right here that I'll be installing. Now the first thing that I did was to make a template. This right here. Technically it goes this way. It doesn't really matter for the purposes of the faucet. But uh, so I drilled my four holes inside the line. What I did next is in drawing each of these lines to make sure this is as square as possible. Uh, using my straight edge, I did two things. I lined it up here with the holes. Also, using a tape measure, I made sure the distance here and here was the same from the edge of this. Also, from the sides and from the back, uh, from this side to here, here, and then from the back. This is going to give me my four lines. Now, the second thing I'm going to do when I cut this out, I'm actually going to cut just a little inside the line with my jigsaw and the reason for that is if I've made any errors if this hole is too big it's harder to shrink it back up if I make it too small I can always trim it out further after now the second thing I'm going to do is most sinks that you see have the faucet here in the back now uh, for reasons for what I've decided to do is uh, you know, if you're someone who's had a couple back injuries, it may not seem like much, but every time you lean over can, for me, is a little difficult. So this piece will be placed on the side and a lot easier for me to access. Now, that does mean that I will only have water going into one side of the sink, uh, but I plan on using the other side more for draining and drying things anyway. Alright, so I've made my lines, and I am going to get my jigsaw. And my hearing protection, I got my glasses so I can see. So with these towards the back, I got shelf space and each of these, it looks like I'll have plenty, uh, let's see if we can get some better lighting here, uh, plenty of space to hook up the pieces to hold this down and this is the one in back. I'm going to mount this right here and then uh, hook up the washer to hold it in place uh, underneath. Now, I know it doesn't reach the other side. I'll be using this side as my drying area. I can always wash it up with a little water if I need to by getting you know, a sponge and just rinsing it up by hand if I have to. So the next thing to do with this here is to take these washers uh, and these spacers and go underneath and finish hooking that up. All right, now I did not go super tight with these. It might have looked like it because I'm using the uh, water pump pliers, but I did want to make them snug so that the top piece is securely in place. Uh, I am not ready to hook up piping, so I have hoses for all this. I won't be hooking those up today. So. All right, I hope you found this uh, video entertaining, maybe even educational. 
Uh, I do this for fun. I'm not a professional, so I just want to say that right up front. Also, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And don't forget to hit that bell notification icon so that way you will receive notices of my future videos as they post.